I think super arts is um it's a home. I mean, I almost feel like I live in this building sometimes. I've, I've, I work here, I teach here, I've rehearsed here, I've made shows here, and um, I've created things in, in this building, um, which is so it has a, kind of a really good feel to it. So super arts is part of my life. It doesn't matter what you're feeling outside, as soon as you come in the door and you're working with the children, all of that disappears and they are the best tonic in the world. I think what it means to me, Sucrats, it is like a family and a, and a community and, we're, and, and where the children can feel they belong somewhere, regardless of you know, who they are or what they can do. And they all come from different cultures and they all mix together in the class and they just sort of get on with it really, which is fantastic. We also have ballet classes, we have floor bar classes and we have a musical theatre which we um, added some years ago and with singing and drama and the kids back then. Super Arts was started by my mum, Irene Hayes, in 1962. So over the years I've just sort of come in and now run it with her. When they dance and they're sort of doing their improvisation, that's, that's the best thing for me, when they can just let it just sort of move in around and suddenly they do things that they don't even know they can do and their bodies are talking and um, that's the greatest thing for me, I think. There was a big difference between when you first came to <laughs> You were a bit worried, weren't you? You were really worried. You cried a lot. There's no individual that's left out. Every single person has their time to shine. They would always ask me, oh, do a backflip, oh, come on, when you score, you have to celebrate. Come on, do it again, do it again. Yeah, I'm, I'm a lot fitter now. I can do a lot more. And it should go, as we say, in your mind. Thank you. And I enjoyed it. And I still tap now. My kids are always laughing at me.